Welcome to this SE Cockpit tutorial video. I'm Shane Milach and in these videos I want to walk you through all of the functions in SE Cockpit. Now hopefully you've already uh, taken a look at the quick start video which gives you a very very quick and short overview over most of the main functions in SE Cockpit and kind of is enough to just get you started and hopefully you've looked at that and done a few searches maybe played around with it a little bit and now in these tutorial videos we're going to look at all of the functions in SE Cockpit in a bit more detail. Now what you're looking at right now is probably what you should be seeing when you log in to SE Cockpit which is your main dashboard and the first thing we're going to look at are a few of the functions and features uh, in the keyword research module. Over here you have the keywords tab and this is the standard tab that's usually going to be open when you log into SE Cockpit and then you have the projects and tasks tabs that we will look at in later videos. Now in the keyword research tab if you haven't done any searches yet you won't see anything here I've already created folders and I have a few keywords in here so this might be empty when you're looking at it. Now before we do anything else <clears throat> for everyone who's subscribed to the first class package remember that you can add your AdWords account login details here to get uh, more synonyms whenever you do a search, more keyword variations. All right, now let's get started. With, to start a new keyword search, you can either click on this link here or on this symbol, new keyword search, you click on that and a new window pops up. So let's look at all the aspects in this window. Here you type in a keyword phrase that you wanna start with. So it could be something like knitting as a seed keyword that you wanna start with or uh, you type in a website. So you can type in the URL of a website. For example, if you have a certain niche in mind, you can check out the top ranking website for a good keyword in that niche. Type that in here and SE Cockpit will go and find uh, related keywords used on that to the keywords used on that website. Then down here, obviously, you can choose the language and the location that you want to get the data from. So especially if you're doing local marketing, it's very important to uh, pick the right settings here. And then you can select whether or not you want to get the uh, cost per click data as well. So this is something you'd only need for um, if, you're, if you're looking for AdWords keywords or perhaps for AdSense sites. Now over here you have, um, first of all, if you click on these tick boxes, you can see that they expand, right? Now the first one, the Google AdWords synonyms, here you can include terms or exclude terms. Uh, so for example, uh, especially for local searches, okay, you can uh, type in a city name here. So let's say, I don't know, Toronto, um, a city name here to tell SE Cockpit to only return keywords that contain, that include the term Toronto, okay. Not even sure if I spelled that correctly, but you know what I mean. Um, you can do the same for excluding terms. Okay, so if you want to um, filter out certain keywords, you want certain words not to be contained in the in the keywords that it returns, you can type them in here. Then this here, minimum daily, that would be the minimum daily search volume, exact match search volume for the keyword. So if you type in, let's say 50 here, it will only return uh, synonyms, it will only return keywords that get searched for uh, 50 times a day or more. Okay, so here you can set up some filters for the standard keyword search. Now with Google Suggest, this is a different kind of keyword source. So the normal, the quote unquote normal keywords come from the Google AdWords tool. And Google Suggest works like this, that if you enter a space here, you can see this is coming from Google. Uh, we pull this in from Google, it gives you suggestions in a drop down menu, uh, and these are things that people type in. And these are not always the same keywords as you get from the Google AdWords tool. And so, what Suggest does, it basically cycles through all the letters, okay, gets all of everything starting with A, everything starting with B, everything starting with C, and so on and all the numbers in case there's results for that too, okay? That's how Google Suggest works, all right? So this is just a different source of keywords. And the same goes for the Google Wonder Wheel. Here it goes and looks at the Wonder Wheel and scrapes results from there. And so you can tell how deep you wanna go, how many, how many times it should uh, look for Wonder Wheel results and um, 
you know, uh, get the keywords on the Wonder Wheel, displayed on the Google Wonder Wheel. Again, it's a different source of keywords, and the keywords you get from the Wonder Wheel are usually different than the ones you get from Suggest and from AdWords. So that's one of the great things about SE Cockpit. You get um, far more potential keyword sources than in most other keyword research tools. And finally, you can assign a tag. And actually, I'm going to go into what the use of this is later on. So let's do a normal uh, Google AdWords search. And let's just, yeah, let's do a filter of minimum daily search volume of 50. Keyword knitting, see, seed keyword knitting. And click on save and close to start a keyword search. And so here it's filling this up with data, as you can see. We have how to knit, knitting patterns, and so on. Now, the normal um, sorting of this data is by the niche value. And the niche value is the volume of traffic divided by the competition strength. Okay, volume of traffic divided by competition strength. So if you have a keyword that gets a relatively large amount of searches, this would be 98 searches a day if you get a number one ranking for knitting for beginners. But it's not very competitive. The orange bars are the competition level. Okay, so this seems to be a not too competitive keyword but you could get almost 100 people a day uh, from this keyword. So that gets a high niche value. But here, for example, knitting patterns gets an even higher niche value. Um, and even though it's quite competitive, in fact, it's, it looks like a very competitive keyword, but it has, you, you'd get almost 1,400 people a day visiting your site from Google if you got a number one ranking for knitting patterns. So it's a very high traffic volume. Um, divided by high key uh, divided by high competition level is still a high niche value okay now with the columns here you can click on any column to sort the data by this column so if i click on the competition strength uh, for ranks 1 to 3 i can sort them by the least competitive keyword and then going up in competition okay that's a pretty easy way to get a get a look at the least competitive keywords. And remember, we've added a filter for at least 50 searches a day. So this right here is kind of a, a keyword research trick you can do with SE Cockpit. You type in a minimum search volume, and then you sort by competition strength, and you look at the weakest or you know the, the easiest to rank for keywords that still get at least whatever your minimum search volume was. OK, let's go back to the normal ranking for a second. And one more thing I want to demonstrate here is expanding the search. So you can click on expand right here, and it will bring up the same prompt you've already seen for the keyword search. And expand, all it does, you can simply uh, do another search. You can type in a different keyword. Um, so, you know, I can select one of these, uh, let's say, knitting patterns. Let's, I'm going to tell it I want it to expand on knitting patterns. So this is basically telling it to dig deeper, right? Dig deeper. And or you know what, I'm not going to actually keep it at knitting and I'm going to choose a different keyword source. Uh, I'm going to choose Google suggest and I'm going to tag the results with, let's say, an orange tag. OK, and this means that now all of the keywords it gets in through Google suggest will be tagged in orange. And the filter that I said before 50 uh, searches a day minimum still applies. So I click save and close. And now it will expand this same keyword list. It doesn't open up a new keyword list. It will add the keywords it finds from Google Suggest into the same list here. Now, it's possible that it won't find very many because we have a filter for search volume. So I don't know if it will find uh, many keywords that match the cr criteria. Down here, we can actually see the first keywords coming in. When they're grayed out, that means the data hasn't been collected yet. And then when the data is filled in, um, they appear here. And now you can see all of the uh, keywords that were pulled in from the Google Suggest tool are now tagged in orange so I can have an overview over where the keywords are coming from. And remember that the tags are completely, it's completely up to you whether you want to use tags or not. You can also manually add a tag by selecting any keyword and then selecting a tag from this drop down menu. And yeah, that's about it. So here you can see how you can expand the keyword and you can do that again, of course. So we could go in again and expand the search again using um, the Wonder Wheel. Now that is all for this first keyword research video. Th those are kind of the basic keyword research functions. 
and in the next video we're going to a bit more detail on all of these columns here.